Hi, I'm Kirsten Banks, astrophysicist, science communicator, and Snowy 2.0 TBM namesake. The mighty Snowy Scheme sits in the Snowy Mountains of New South Wales. The Snowy Scheme was originally constructed to mitigate the effects of severe drought by diverting the rivers of the Snowy Mountains westwards for irrigation. Today, Snowy Hydro plays a critical role in keeping the lights on and underpinning Australia's transition to renewables. This scheme captures, stores and diverts the water from snowmelt combined with spring rainfall using a complex network of aqueducts and trans mountain tunnels. This network channels the water into 16 major reservoirs to be stored as energy in waiting. More than 100,000 men and women from over 30 different countries came together to build the scheme between 1949 and 1974. The scheme is an engineering marvel. Tunnels, dams and hydropower stations use the power of water to generate clean, renewable energy. Nine hydropower stations, one pumping station, 145 kilometres of tunnels, 80 kilometres of aqueducts, 33 generating units, generating more than 4,100 megawatts of power, producing hours of renewable energy each year. My TBM, yes, I have a tunnel boring machine named after me, is helping to extend the mighty Snowy scheme with the pumped hydro expansion project Snowy 2.0. This will be Australia's largest committed renewable energy project. Snowy 2.0 will reuse water between two of our existing reservoirs, Tangtangra and Talbingo, via 27 kilometres of new waterway tunnels with a new power station to be built almost 800 metres underground. Pumped Hydro provides on-demand dispatchable energy. Snowy 2.0 will pump when demand is low and there is excess renewable supply. Then generate when demand is high or other generation sources are not producing, such as periods of low wind and solar output or outages at baseload coal stations. I am so excited to explore the Snowy scheme and share with you the science behind it.